Now here in our bedroom, this is our headboard, the top of our bed. And it also doubles up as a petition wall because we have our ensuite behind there. It's quite wide, it's over two meters wide. However, Laura and I made this kind of soft headboard about four years ago. We don't like it very much now. So out with the old and in with the new. I'm gonna cover it with an acoustic wood panel. The sheets come in 2.4 meters but I only need 1,900 millimeters high. So I'll cut all four pieces down to the length that I require, which is about 1,900 mil. But I'm gonna start with the very edge of the headboard itself, and it's 190 millimeters long, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna get my trimming knife and cut through the felt behind them. Now I have got a piece of plywood underneath here to protect my carpet. So do be cautious when you are cutting these. And I'll start to fit from the right hand side and work my way across to the left. As you can see, I've got two sockets at the bottom. The electrician's disconnected these. I'm going to cut a hole out of the panel, slip this through, then fix the double socket to the face of the board. There's two ways you can apply these. You can glue them and stick them on, or they can be screwed. I'm going to apply these ones on with glue, but add a couple of screws top and bottom just to hold it in place until the glue is dried. That's our headboard now complete with the acoustic wooden panels, acting as a partition between our bedroom and ensuite. I'm sure you will agree it's not just a feature wall, it now becomes a focal point in the room. Now there's a variety of different colours, styles and sizes that you can pick from. If you're looking for inspiration, just head over to the website, wallsandfloors.co.uk.